Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Unique Moods Drug 3D Fiber Lashes Plus Fortify with Uplift. Nice short name to remember. I recently purchased this, well like, I ordered it probably about two weeks ago and I've been using it for probably about a week. And so I thought I would review it today. So before we start, I'm just going to show you what you get in this package. So you get this box. This is what it comes in. And when you open it, you get a little pouch with your two mascara things. And you get a little pamphlet with how to apply the mascara and stuff like that. And yeah, it just tells you like the steps that you do in order to put this mascara on. You know, whatever. Uh, in this little pouch, you get your two wands of stuff. You get a transplanting gel, which is just a mascara, that's what it seems like. And then you get your fibers, which are black, which is good. So I guess first of all, I'll just tell you how I apply this mascara, because I do add a little extra step since my lashes are like snuffleupagus status, like they hang down in front of my eyes, I'm not even kidding. So I have to add a few extra steps just to keep my lashes up and curled. So first of all, I curl my lashes like crazy, but that's with any mascara, that's an everyday thing. I always have to curl my lashes. So these are just a few extra tips if you have straight lashes. <clears throat> I'm like talking really fast, but if you have really straight lashes like me, curl your lashes beforehand and a little, this is just a little extra step, just apply a tiny bit of waterproof mascara. I like to use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto waterproof mascara. Um, I think because it's a really light formula and I can just lightly brush it on uh, my upper lashes and it just keeps them curled. So that's what I like to use or the Rocket Mascara. Basically whatever your favorite waterproof mascara is that is really lightweight. Um, also I feel like this kind of separates my lashes too, like kind of primes them for the actual like fibers and stuff. I just like to use that extra step. If you already have curled lashes or nice lashes or anything like that, totally skip the first step. You don't need it. But if you have terrible lashes like me, it's just a little something to give them some extra lift. So then I just do the normal steps with the um, transplanting gel and the fibers. I just apply a lot of the transplanting gel. I add fibers. I start about halfway at my lash and sweep upward in pretty quick motions. I just kind of flick it onto my lashes and I find that that gives it the most volume and length how I like it and then I apply more of the transplanting gel and then I do the same thing to my bottom lashes just without the waterproof mascara I just use the gel and the fibers on my lower lashes you totally can use like a normal mascara on your lower lashes if you're not into like huge big lower lashes I know some people like hate that but I like them to be full as well so I just like to use the fiber mascara on my lower lashes as well. Once I do my lower lashes, I take no extra product, so as soon as I finish my lower lashes with the transplanting gel, I just go up to my upper lashes and just sweep through them and that just separates them, adds a tiny bit more gel just to make sure that everything is locked in place and everything like that and I find that that works best for me and then I have nice and separated full lashes. It seems like a pretty tedious like thing to do every morning, but it doesn't take me very long actually. It because before I had this, I spent a lot of time on my lashes every day because they're so terrible. So I would always add like three different mascaras anyway. So it took me probably longer than what this takes me. So yeah, it doesn't take too long to do unless you're like in a really big hurry. And in that case, I don't use this. But for the most part, I do use this because it doesn't take me forever to do. Okay, so that's how I apply the mascara. Now I'm just going to really quickly go through some pros and cons of the mascara. That way you can kind of decide for yourself whether you think that this is worth it or not. Um, so I'm going to start with the cons. Uh, the first thing is that you have to order it. There's These are not sold in stores, so you have to order it from a distributor because this company is like kind of like Mary Kay or Avon. Um, they're sold like through people that work for the company, which is kind of a bummer. You can't just go out and pick it up. The second con is that this is... With shipping, I paid $34 for this, which is crazy for mascara. Like, that is really expensive. I never spend more than, like, $7 on mascara. So, for me, this was pretty pricey. It says it's $29, but once you pay for shipping, it is $34, which is really expensive. They say it lasts, I think, three months, but still, that's a lot of money for mascara. And I think another con for me would be that I have to use a waterproof mascara first. Uh, because it doesn't keep a curl quite like I want it to. That's kind of a bummer, but since it's not 
waterproof. I honestly didn't really expect it to hold my curl because the only thing that holds my curl in my lashes is a very waterproof mascara. So I wasn't super surprised by that, but it's kind of a bummer that I have to add that little extra step. Now for the pros. Uh, a few pros are that the fibers are black, so it makes blending them into your lashes with the mascara super easy because I know some other fiber mascaras, the fibers are white, and I'm like, why? Another pro is that it does truly make my lashes bigger. Like, I really do think that it makes quite a difference in my lashes. Um, and for me, it still looks pretty natural. Like, it looks like my lashes just with mascara on. I know some people add a ton of this stuff, and it's really clumpy and really unnatural looking. I'm not a huge fan of that, but to each their own. Like, some people love the really big, clumpy eyelashes. I like more full, natural lashes, so... Just remember that if you want just the full, just the natural lashes, you don't need much of this. Like, honestly, I don't use very much to get a nice, full, natural lash. But if you do like the clumpy look, go ahead and coat this on like 40 times because you can definitely get there with this. For me, just using a little bit, I get a nice, full, natural lash. So overall, in my opinion, I would recommend it because I've really been enjoying it. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions on it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I guess it just depends on what you're looking for in a mascara, you know, if you like really big lashes, this might be a good thing to try for you. Those are just my opinions on it. If you are interested in this mascara, um, just find a unique distributor. If you don't have one, like if you don't know anyone who sells it, I will have a link below of who I buy this from. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I am uploading two times a week now every Tuesday and every Friday so you can see more of me now if you subscribe I'm just saying I'm just saying so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on Friday bye